for another episode on Snipes Adventures. We're heading out to Raven Lake this morning. Um, I don't think I have any videos of me out there yet, so we're headed out west from Williams Lake. I did hear that they punched a new road in, so I'm trying to get some video of us taking that road. The one in the last few years, the main road just before the lake at about 14 kilometer marker off the highway, it was getting pretty flooded, so it was getting very inaccessible. A little scary going through there the last couple of years. Ice freezing and then you kind of punch through it. So anyways, here's the turn off coming up up here. Let's check it out. So yeah, from the, the highway, you turn, turn right, right here. The 1300 road. I'll, uh, I'll show you, there's a forest service road or something up here on the left. I forget how many kilometers it is, but once we get there, we're on the Alex Graham Palmer Road right now. Once we get to the turnoff, I'll start recording again and we can see if we can't get lost. This is where the old road used to go, was straight ahead there. So this says Palmer Forest Service Road Detour. And also there's a sign there that says road closed. So I guess you can't really get lost, just follow the trail. But uh, from, from what I understand, what I was told was that this road comes out past Raven Lake now so kind of a detour around the lake and once you uh, pop out on the main road again you have to backtrack and come back to Raven Lake that's what what I was told by some friends so we'll check it out and see if that's what happens and yeah, this turn off here on the left that we just took is at kilometer 1312 12, 12 kilometer on the 1300 road so anyways looks like uh, you can't take a wrong turn anyways follow the beaten path I forgot to mention was that uh, Raven Lake the species that we're gonna be fishing for our majority is brook trout there's a lot of brook trout in there and there's the odd rainbow trout too the rainbow trout actually get pretty decent size I've seen some around the five pound range but I'm sure they get a little bit bigger than that I found I found on average oh there's a grouse oh no don't hit the grouse there was two of them Okay, good. I didn't hit them. <laughs> They're right in the middle of the road. Um, so I found on average you probably catch about 20 brook trout for every one rainbow trout. Last year my odds were a little bit better than that for rainbow, but yeah, so if you come out here. Uh, oh, and the brook trout are really good out here. They're phenomenal. Nice red meat too. Nice firm. They're really good. So. But yeah. Alright, let's figure out where this lake is so we can get fishing. I had to pull over because that sky is beautiful. Look at that. That's just gorgeous. Wow. Beautiful. Anyways, Raven Lake is over there somewhere. We're kind of going past it right now. All right, let's carry on. All right, there's a right-hand turn on the road here. We're at about 17 and a half kilometer. I would assume this is the way to Raven Lake. Oh yeah, there's a sign back there, right there. There's a sign, right there in the trees. It says Raven Lake to the right. Okay, so this is the way. Yeah, from our from our last turn off back there, where I uh, said we had to turn right. From there, it's probably only about a kilometer to here. Yeah, we're just pulling up to the lake right now. Looks like it's gonna be a gorgeous day. Yeah, there's nobody here yet. I am expecting some friends to meet us here, so probably meet up with them in a bit. Look at that. Just gorgeous out here. Just gorgeous. Monday today, so I wouldn't expect too many people out here. I do have my ice fishing hut and my heater and stuff, but I don't know. I don't think I'm going to use it today. It's minus 10 right now. But when I'm fishing with a group of other people, I I don't really like to hide out in the ice fishing hut too much. Definitely lots of uh, old holes you can see on the ice here from other people fishing. Pretty sure last year I was the first one to come out and fish Raven Lake. It was about two inches of ice, which I don't recommend. I don't think anybody does, but oh, the fishing was hot too. I think it froze last year around November 15th or something. Oh, where do I want to fish? I think 
right in between all these holes. Look at this bunch of blood there. How's that? Can we see? Can we see what we're doing? Oh yeah, we're good. Good to go. Same amount of ice as yesterday when I was out fishing. Not on this lake, but eight inches or so, I would assume. Right about there. Seven and a half inches. Let's see if we can catch a fish before our friends show up. <laughs> they said they were leaving Williams Lake at seven o'clock this morning. I left at about 6.30, but I did stop quite a bit on the way out here. That's what I like to use out here at Raven Lake. It's just a small pink lead jig head. Little piece of shrimp on there. I do hear a vehicle off in the distance, far away, so I imagine in a few minutes our friends will be here. Alright. I'll reel this one up. I think this one's a little bit too big for this application. There's a pretty big jig on this one. No bites yet. Been fishing for a couple minutes now. That was only about 30 seconds after I shut the GoPro off. Oh, look at that. It's a nice little rainbow. I don't know. I didn't want to keep anything from here today, but uh, I don't know. My friends might want that. I was actually just changing my gloves and putting some warmer ones on. And that one hit. Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll keep it for my friends. They might want it. So let's check it out. Come here. Come here. That's enough. Yeah. That's a nice little rainbow. Maybe a couple pounds. All right. Let's see what else we can catch. See if we can get into a brookie. They're here. They're here. I didn't know you were coming out too. Yeah. Your rainbow already? Yeah, I didn't want to keep anything, but I thought maybe somebody would want it. Oh, yeah. If it was a brookie, I probably would let it go. But I was only fishing for about 30 seconds, and I've only been here for a couple minutes. Oh, really? Yeah. Good morning, buddy. How's it How going, man? Good, good. Um, How deep of water are you in? Uh, I think it's about eight and a half. I, I lowered my lure all the way down. Oh, yeah, you got a nice rainbow there. Yeah. Ryan's got this fancy tool, right? Yeah. Say, makes it look so fancy easy. Tool. <laughs> I was trying to drill holes yesterday with my cordless drill, but I got the DeWalt. Oh yeah. Just garbage. Yeah. Piece of junk. Oh yeah. I didn't. I didn't even think I made it an inch through the ice, and the thing was like starting. I thought they were supposed to be getting better. Nah, I don't know. What batteries you got in it? The batteries. Just good? the little ones that came with it. I keep on hearing I need bigger batteries. We're witnessing history right now, boys. <laughs> He's not on the ice yet, brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> did you switch or did you stay with what you had? Yeah, you switched. You switched. Switch that jig on. Jesus, look at the size of them. It's putting tidal waves on your white caps on your water there. <laughs> See? Oh, yeah. Oh, it is a rainbow. It is a rainbow, yeah. Yeah, I knew it. He hit pretty hard. Don't tell him. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. He's, he's using a gang troll with yeah. a wedding band. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, Mark. Well, I don't want to horse him in and lose my jig. He's still got fight in him. Let him let him play out. <laughs> this must be ten pound. It is big though. I see him. A big, it's a big fish. Yeah. yeah. There he is. Oh! Did the line break? Oh, yeah. The line broke. Oh, shrimp are really gross. Aren't they? What's the limit on this thing? There you got Mark. He's going to ram his. Uh, oh, yeah. Down you got your arms again. ready there, Mark? I'm ready, buddy. I'm ready. Oh, it's just a little guy. Oh, that's a decent fish. I can't tell. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, that's a rainbow, I think. It's a rainbow. I better stand back. Oh yeah, buddy! Oh yeah! Nice one. That's a nice fish. Oh, that's a beauty. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Nice. Brookie. That's a pretty pliers. Yeah, I got a pair. I got some in my bag too, I guess. That's a pretty nice one you got there too, Ryan. Eh? Yeah. Fat. Ethan Rainbow. <laughs> Pretty decent size. Big brookies compared to before. Yeah. What about you? What you got going on over here? Rainbow. Sorry, this one's alright. That one's a little baby, but it's okay. Still keeper. The rainbow slayer and you, Mark? Yeah. Oh no, you just move along. Move oh, along. okay. <laughs> Ray, you got a couple nice ones here too, eh? <laughs> back into Williams Lake from uh, fishing out at Raven Lake there a little bit slower than usual but the rainbow average was quite a bit better than usual as well like I said usually you catch 20 brook trout and then one rainbow but what did we end up with today I only caught the two fish myself uh, both of them were rainbows one of them was pretty nice pretty decent size but Ryan caught five fish and I think Three of them were rainbows and two of them were brook trout or three of them were brook trout and two of them were rainbows Corey was out there Corey caught three or four rainbows no brook trout sorry mark and ray no dice for you that's two skunks for mark oh mark had a nice one on though you'll see the footage or you probably already have seen the footage by this point but uh yeah mark lost that big one right at the hole he was pulling it out of the water and you know that's when you get the most strain on the line and the line ended up actually breaking on them so that's too bad anyways head back out to a different lake tomorrow morning i guess but yeah that's all she wrote for raven lake all right stay tuned for our next episode